In this world, even what we drink can tell a person who we are. But before we get into that, have you ever heard of a bacon cocktail? Yes, bacon. Would you like to learn how to make one? Well, there's a new show on the official Hungry channel called Drink Incorporated, and they show you how to do that. You can just click right here if you want to check them out. And you can tell them that I sent you to, if you like. So let's get started. How to judge a girl by her alcohol. We'll start off with four drinks. But I may need a professional, so... When tipsy bartender walks in, you know what that means. Somebody about to get drunk. The Coswell girl. I have a penthouse on 5th Avenue, a purse puppy. I mean, really, what do you think I drink? Cosmos, of course. Okay, check this out right here. Classic Cosmopolitan. When a chick orders one of these, I know automatically that's a girl you want to date. You know why? Because she got HBO. She picked us up off Sex in the City. So this is a girl, you know, trying to be a little stylish, trying to say she's all that, just because she could afford HBO. You know the wrong with that. Usually a cuter girl, not, not necessarily. I serve this to some ugly girls. But usually girls who drink drinks like this tend to be a little cuter, a little classier. The Long Island girl. <laughs> Listen. I'm a lady and I can handle my liquor. Just put it on the cup. This right here, Long Island iced tea. Okay? So that's vodka, rum, gin, triple sec, tequila, equal parts, sweet sour, splash of coke on top. Anywho, let me tell you what this drink says about a girl. That she is a ghetto ass chick, a drunken bastard. When you see a girl ordering this drink, that just tells you that this chick can be in bed with someone by the end of the night. All that alcohol they can sell you probably a lot of bars, six, seven, eight dollars. There is no way that amount of alcohol should count that cheap. Long Island nice teas, adiosis. When you have chick order that, that ain't wifey material. You could have some fun, but don't marry her. The Bud Girl. Yeah, all right. Get that keg of Bud. Bonfire time. Woo! Good stuff. Next up, we have your classic Budweiser right here. Bud is a cheap ass bear. That's why Europeans make fun of us. <laughs> you guys drink Bud. They laugh at Budweiser. She's an unsophisticated bear drinker, that's for sure, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you, bear is a huge, huge, huge fire. And Budweiser and Miller Lite and Coors, like they're in a tiny little corner where the cheap stuff is. But if I see a girl drinking this, I go, you know, probably a cool chick. She's just an unsophisticated beer drinker. I would open this and take a sip, but I drink high-end stuff. I ain't gonna lie to you. Lastly, Whiskey Coke Girl. All I ride is my Harley and my old man and watch Sons of Anarchy. This right here is your classic Whiskey Coke. You don't find a whole lot of girls doing the Whiskey Coke. You know, but when you do see a girl with a Whiskey Coke, that ain't a typical girl, you know, that chick got a little bit of an edge to her. You know, a little intimidating, because I approach a chick drinking, you know, one of the other drinks that we talking about, before I approach a chick with the whiskey coke. Chances are, she been drinking a little bit longer, she know what she drinking, and she ain't really trying to impress. This girl, something to her, okay? Tipsy bartender people, and there you have it! Listen, if you're a hot girl, come by, have a drink with me. Dudes, y'all keep it moving. Don't forget, if you haven't already, go subscribe to The Tipsy Bartender, helping you and your friends get drunk one drink at a time. You can click this video right here to go check out the rest of his. And of course, as always, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, hit up the Facebook page. Yes, those links are in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.